It's your boy Pokes and Point Live from location I cannot disclose because y'all niggas is apps. Yeah. And we just out here about greatness and you know reporting live from Lagos, Nigeria. Hey, Ote Day, every day. And this is your daily dose of Alternus. Everybody in my house, they were not tapped in. Yeah. Uh, so it used to stress me out like, why am I hanging out with a bunch of untapped in people? Mm. So, like, when we are in the house, like, I don't know, it just felt like I was making a statement. Like, uh, when we are home, I'm with you. But when we are outside, I'm not with you. Mm. Like, in my head, that was my own way of being unique. So when we are on the train, on the bus, I don't sit with my family. I go somewhere and I'm on my J's. Bro, like, yeah, yeah, this is the only time I get to, like, tap in and not be on all whatever you guys are on because you guys are messing with my frequency yeah you are messing with my frequency so i'll go to the back and i'm there sketching something and then this white dude comes to me and he goes yo like you tapped in i'm like duh you don't you see me on my jays most tapped in niggas be roaming loners you feel me so i think my mom must have noticed that you know we're on the train and this white dude is talking to me so i think she calls me or something and i was like oh the guy is trying to say like i can draw and they want to put me in a thing like something like i think my mom told me that he wanted to adopt me something stupid yeah that that my mom can go to nigeria and leave me with him that i have greatness in me that he wants to take me up african mother yoruba mother she really badly i will feel not tower mommy will feel for mommy she no sense that I should what you are telling a mother she should leave her child with you the only reason a mother will leave her child with you is because of poverty mm. yeah mm. because now okay maybe my son even though i'm poor my son has something in him that can give him a better life mm. and maybe save his siblings so ah okay this stranger i don't know I'll do my work, but yeah, take him. Maybe you are his guy, his angel. Mm. But when you are a middle class family and you are in London to start with, <laughs> first and first, you are in London for holiday. So, my. <laughs> you know, go work, my bro. Can you just sit down and stop talking to my son? Bye bye. I'll tell you, mom, she's like, he's going to Nigeria next week. <laughs> But shit, who knows? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't this beats me a lot because like when I'm in class and niggas are just teachers are talking and me I'm drawing helicopters and fucking bugs bunny. I used to love bugs bunny. For real. Yeah, I don't know. I was obsessed with Bugs Bunny, Sylvester, and Tweety. Ah, I used to love drawing them like obs- it was an obsession. I can draw Tweety till now I still can draw Tweety yeah. because of muscle memory. But like back then 10 times a day, I'm drawing Tweety and Sylvester and Bugs Bunny. I'm just there. And I was a good imitator. So, like, I didn't necessarily draw things for my mind, but if I looked at something, don't worry. I even enjoyed that place. Yeah, also, your own was Air Force season for Bubbles. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my class was dead, man. I mean, yeah, government, all niggas need to change this curriculum, man. Because if you don't, we're, we're going to have to make us start starting new schools and we're going to take all your students. <laughs> and now your, your, your business is going to go down. So, can you please do better with your uh, curriculum? You said earlier, Nigeria is a family business. Nigeria is a family business. Yeah. And I me, I want to join the family. <laughs> Adopt me. Oh, however, I don't care how you do it. Just uh, bring me in. <laughs> Tell me. Oh. I mean, I'm BAT. BAT. Oh, yeah, now. Okay, so, I mean, bro, man, listen, it feels like 
I hope those that listen and watch right now enjoy it. You feel me? We're having a good time. I swear, man, this could have been live right now. Oh. Niggas will be catching their oh, trips, maybe sending, sending their time. comments, dropping down comments on what we're oh. saying, and maybe, that would be lit. Maybe we should do that. That would be we'll, lit. We'll have, we'll just have two or three topics. You know what I'm learning with we'll Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hundred on it. I'm hundred on it. Just be catching um, There's this thing I used to do called pop tins. Yeah. So pop tins was like a one minute segment. I I did it through all through. 2018 okay. yeah 2018 so i did 32 episodes i think uh 80 000 views in total wow. uh, but it was it was more geared i mean so there's this there's a part of me that is that i'm really passionate about youth empowerment through talking mm. yeah car yeah so i used to do this thing called pop where i just go on my phone i found out check this out real quick then i just like do a one minute thing but it's usually based around like self-actualization purpose and um just being a voice for encouraging like young people out there who are lost because most young people are lost even grown-ups are even me as i did like this i still define myself so like i understand the burden that comes with when you choose to be enlightened Mm. or you choose to awaken and be obvious uh, to to observe and then all these questions start to pop in and there are no answers because most society wants you to be docile society wants you to be the puppet to be to be a part of the number Mm. Mm. so when you now try to rise above that is when your real demons even show up yeah so at moments like that if you do not have anything to ride on then there's a chance where you just admit accept your failure and be regular mm. so that i felt like um i mean most importantly it was just from interaction that part of me is a service because i feel like i've spoken to too many people and they always say guy i, sh- I shouldn't be the only one knowing this i'm like what do you mean dog like they're like nah like do you know the people who if they were just here like what you just said to me now dog just like changed my whole shit so like you've done that one x what don't you want to do that a thousand x mm. and i'm like so what you want me to be going to people's houses and start having a conversation with strangers he goes no x ex- <laughs> 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 guys like don't be stupid bro like create a content out of that yeah. so i'm like ah that's because these things come organically like yeah. how am i so it's still a struggle but i did i did the pop things for a year but i stopped because i felt that i was doing for a place of ego mm. yeah you know this pope it was like i was creating this persona that was now moving to it was it, it was moving it was straying too far from my natural self where I now felt like I'm trying to manage a brand or maintain a persona. And there are days when I'm fucking tired. I'm drained. I'm, I'm not happy. My baby's stressing me. I'm broke. Hey, I'm, I'm stressed because I'm editing for, for 18 hours straight. And I have to deliver one video per week. But right now, I do not feel like Pope. I'm not that guy, that persona. That's not who I am right now. Yeah, but I mean, even Cali, like, I guess if it's inherently you, then you can keep it up. Because if you think about it, from the first time Cali gave us major keys till Drake did, it's the same shit. You know, it's it's the same guy. It's the same shit. So. But no one i mean i guess no yeah we yeah we side, we because but we know there is the other side yeah, no. uh, facts like nobody's <laughs> nobody's you know um fairy tale doesn't exist but. forever <laughs> <laughs> you can only make moments fairy tale like but don't worry life will be like okay cut yep. <laughs> let's get nice. back to the real let's get to the bad part <laughs> Yeah, man. What are some of your bad? I was thought you said bad parts. Bad parts in life, and maybe in like, I remember you were speaking about the restaurant. So mm. you know, you leave with MSC, mm. you 
come to Lagos. Yeah. Um, my dad gave me three million. So then he disowned me when I quit it, which I can't blame him for that. Cause you. Cause I quit. Cause you quit. Yeah. Wow. I mean, think about it. I make it fifty k on a bad day. I have prime real estate. I was such a machine that my customers were willing to give me money to expand because they were like now nah, that is a nigga you can bet on like i was willing to die you know there was one day my chef quit yeah because yeah because he said i brought in a chef and i gave him 25 percent of the company as a chef no financial investment nothing where he thought he wanted 50 and I laughed I said Dub do you really know what is going on accounting inventory business plan investment security marketing plan flyers I'm doing everything but because I know it's a restaurant and the food is a very important part that's why you're getting 25 percent you could have gotten a salary my g (laughs) or i could have given you an x amount of the food sales Mm. but you're not gonna be getting no shareholders board of directors split at the end of the year but i'm like you deserve that but it's like he wants 50 so one way or another in the middle of work he dropped his apron and walked out wow guess what i did that was the day i learned how to make chicken (laughs) bro at the end of that day one guy sat me down i was drenched in sweat bro i I think i lost five kg that day because i'm like i'm running bah, bah, bah. saving the drinks collecting the money doing the accounting saving the food while making the food because that time it was only me and him we were trying to find staff so i think i don't know people keep telling me pull the yeah all right cool i know this nigga need me i'm gonna quit they're gonna run dry then they're gonna come back to me but the only problem he's he didn't think about the guy he was fucking with bidemi doesn't do that nah nah you're just starting a problem because i would die doing that shit and you know i did for like that so that gave people like a lot of courage so when i quit one day he wasn't happy with that he but the funny part is before he died he bought me my first set of equipment so but because i guess this happened in because I, I officially started doing videos. I dropped my first video in August of 2017. I must have taken, like I said, three months on YouTube. So we're looking at May, June, July, August, thereabout. I know it was Salah period. Right after Salah that I quit. And yeah, so by January of 2018, he had called me again because we're not talking he disowned me we're living in the same house but we don't talk mm. i said this guy what are you doing with your life i said you're my genius still this film shit though because like, you're still on this film p i was like yeah man look at my ig i'm already getting bookings because you're getting bookings i'm like yeah it's not a lot of money but i am getting bookings yeah and the only problem i have now is that i'm borrowing people's cameras and now it's not even the problem is now that I'm losing the job because the other nigga too want to use his camera. Mm. So that's my problem. My problem is I'm on. I need a camera. Then it goes, nah, you know, you need to go to film school, you know, because education is important to African parents. You need to go to film school. There's a way Nigerians' perspective are when they know that you went to an institution to study it, they are willing to give you the money you want. They respect you more. That's how Nigerian society is. I say, eh, okay, I'll do it. But between now and then, can you get me a camera? 
and then that's how i bought my first camera the a6500 which i still have till tomorrow and yeah so i guess all in all he he saw it that this guy wasn't gonna stop so i guess he just like gave me what i needed and i think maybe at that time maybe he kind of had an idea that he was gonna die because he had cancer and he was fighting with it so he didn't know if he was gonna make it so i guess that was his like last gift to me yeah because i guess at that point that was the only glimmer of light that he could see in me so he's like all right let me give this guy what he wants finally i mean he has tried he has given me a master's he wanted me to do a phd but i was like nigga it ain't finna happen dog bro. I ain't gonna do that. So when you're doing it, man, shout out to you, bro. Cause I know that shit is not jokes. I finished. You're done? I said pray that I finished. Cause that's like three years, four years. Oh, so that means you got two more. A year is that you're done or you cannot I'm on a break. I'm on a break. But nah, but that was, that was beautiful, man. Uh, but if you've done two, you gotta finish, dog. Cause you're pretty much there. Whew, I know what you mean, dog. Like, I can't even drag, I can drag my body, but I can do that for master. I was on every level. Yeah. Like, what my research is on, because master's like, okay. What was your, what was your research topic? Um, what my baby? You know, for master's. Oh. My baby research is the influence on um, Western people and African people. Look at, um, Alter Daily. Sorry, or oh, Ted Daily. Oh, uh, see this guy where they talk for you yeah. in the f up. Baba no one do PhD. We guys do it. How Western music they influence Africa. Don't worry. Well, you know, you know, I'll talk I'm going to you. send you a message every Sunday. What do you need? Motivation. I see how you block you. I'm going to block your papa. <laughs> I go blow the message me. Oh. Say you know why me. I go block your pumpsy. You know what the thing is? Mm. It's more so with Africa with this, um the uh, Rest in peace to him. Hey man, big man. Rest in peace to him. Also, um dealing with that going forward. Mm. Even though you guys went on the best of terms, mm. how did you deal with it? Um I think okay so I was my my parents don't well none of my family lives in Nigeria at that point it was just me and my dad yeah. so I was solely responsible for taking care of him so I would always because then he used to be in UCH okay. so I was always going to UCH for UCH for weeks so I spend my nights there and my days in the hotel Okay. So I sleep there. Somebody leaves. They will come during the day. Then I go home at night. So yeah, this is in Ibadan. I'll drive to Ibadan and do that. So how many hours is it? An hour and a half on a bad day, but like an hour flat, ten minutes, an hour ten minutes. So this day I was doing boozy brunch. Um, my friend is Siri. He had called me. He said, "Yo, my G, um, I have two bookings today." I'm, I'm not going to be able to go for the second one. I think the pay was 80k back then. That was a lot of money. Um, that should cover it. Was it that? Yes. It's, quite, it's, it's funny how boozy brunch is also quite important in my life. Yeah, so I covered it. Um, okay, yeah, it's making sense now. I covered it. Um, and the Siri was on my ass that the clients need the video. Well, obviously, my pops is dying. I'm in the hospital, and but well, I guess at this point that like I've already quit the restaurant, so me I was already like, and then I started graying my hair, so it was like a. I, I I said my now I was I said to myself, I'm not leaving Nigeria for ten years. I'm willing to sacrifice the next 10 years of my life to whatever it is that I'm about to do. Mm. So I said, I'm going to grow my hair for 10 years and I'm not leaving Lagos for 10 years. I'm, I'm in. Yeah, you feel me? I'm in. So at that point, 
it was a do or die affair that the death of my father wasn't gonna stop me mm. yeah it, it wasn't enough nothing the only thing that would stop me was my own death not another person's death no matter who they were to me mm. so i'm right there you know i'm helping my dad clean up doing all these things but i was i just wanted to do it and go and edit so for me i think editing was always like the the, the light at the end of the tunnel so even when like his liver or his kidney which one liver shut down at 3 a.m in the morning this was the day before he died 3 a.m in the morning his liver shut down and they were they were shortage of staff and they had to do an emergency procedure i don't know what it was but it involved them sticking a tube in this some shit. yeah 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 crazy stuff and they needed my help so they had to have me in there so i pretty much performed an emergency procedure on my father which is psychologically traumatizing and in the middle of it the doctor looked at me held my hand and said i'm so sorry for this you are not supposed to be here but we are out of staff hmm. i said no it's cool it's cool till now i don't know how that what that has done to me because like i said i'm a clueless guy so i always need time and events to match then i have this epiphany then everything now makes sense then that day i spend my whole day just like wow then from there my life changes again yeah that's how my own that's how my hobby so i think by morning also my mom my mom is also deep like she's like a super spiritual person so she just calls me she goes i'm coming to nigeria my mom the ticket is like a thousand pounds like i'm going to meet him there's no need she's like nah nah and you know me once my spirit tells me move and i don't move something goes so i'm coming and she came the guy died like two days after wow. yeah so it was, it was crazy even for me i was like oh, okay wow well, since this one has been saying this thing well now i believe her you know no, so i saw it I saw it. so that that morning because i couldn't sleep the whole night so i think that morning i I went, my mom came, my mom and I first came to the hospital, I went to the hotel, I came back, but then they were like, cause me, I was like, oh, I had to finish this video, cause everybody was just like, I could feel is that they didn't want to tell me that I was being dumb, that your dad is in a critical condition, I am more interested, it seemed like at that moment, I was more interested in going to finish that edit. So they let me go, because everybody knows me, once Pope's in, makes up his mind on something you are an obstacle if you try to stop him and he will bring you down so don't be in his way look for a way to gain his understanding but don't look like an obstacle that doesn't work with me i would you are even giving me more ginger i will take you down don't worry i will it's just when so they were like okay you can since you've been here every night you can go um, his friend will stay then you guys can come first thing in the morning so we said okay so I was editing where my dad died like literally but I wasn't there so the next morning I was still editing so my mom said I said okay mom you go because this time I need to send it and network was bad so I was busy looking for where hotspot was so I can send this clip because the series was on my ass you know and for me i also knew that this video was important for my career and the things i was doing in the video that that video i mean that at that point in time the story of my life was i was the guy that was doing the 90s baby videos um people got loved that and then i was not getting like other brands to do videos for them and this was the only event that i had been to that gave me that new age like i wouldn't call it nice baby vibe but that same that crowd that new hp you know fashion inclined so i knew that if i could nail this video it would potentially have the type of cultural impact that my 90s baby videos had and then my my branding was my event videos and if it wasn't 90s this was another event that i knew that okay this is a staple in the culture if I can do it again because for me doing something once is cool but doing it again is when you know that okay I got this so I was I really wanted to deliver 
on time because that thing they wanted to promote it or something they wanted to do over at like for the culture but then i had not known the owners of for the culture so um i was trying to send the video i think i don't know if i sent it or not and then my mom's friends just came i said ah now let's go now well that's how i shall find out that the guy passed so the funny part is the second boozy brunch was on the day of my popsy's funeral mm. Mm. <laughs> It's crazy that I'm thinking about it now. First boozy brunch, I edited it, but that died while I was editing it. The second boozy brunch was now on the day of my dad's funeral. So now boozy brunch started at maybe because was it boozy? Yeah, boozy brunch was one of those events that was. I know you guys know boozy brunch. It's afternoon time. It's not. Yeah, it's not a night time pee. Now my popsy in the morning we do church service for his funeral after church service we do the burial yeah. then after burial I do reception I didn't go for my own popsy's reception mm. I told everybody I said guys you have me till 1 o'clock once it's 1 o'clock and I used to drive a Hyundai coupe mm. bro the need for speed I did my tire bust now wow. Lagos Ibarra Express where that road is bad I'm doing like 120 I'm doing 80 on speed bumps because I have to do this boozy brunch. Mm. There's no one that is telling me I'm not recording this boozy brunch. I've already patterned my equipment box was with my guy Olatide. Shout out to my man Wave. He met me there with the box. Bro, and he blew for me, Badon. Tire boss changed the tire. The car climb corner and I'm driving a sport car. So it's not a Jeep. Low to the ground. Maybe I arrived in Lagos in an hour flat. Which is stupid. Got there at two o'clock, two fifty was raining. I arrived. Long story short, I got the event, did the video. It was amazing. So I think I don't know. All I can say is that since my dad died, I felt like my blessings have quadrupled. Um, because as as the point when I found out he died, I was just saying I'm not ready. That was all I was saying. I'm no. I was just looking at everybody. I'm not ready. <laughs> already because i'm 27 27 28 they're about i'm a grown man i got 18k in my account and my financier is dead <laughs> what the f <laughs> what the f you i'm not ready i'm not ready Yo, are you guys kidding me how can you tell me the guy is gone so I don't know, but like, man, like, even him going is, is proud because I held it down like a mother. I'm still holding it like a mother. Like, everything just changed. Like, I, 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 my level of savagery increased. Um, my level of confidence skyrocketed, and I just became an animal because, like, now, I mean, my sisters love me, my mom loves me, but it's not like my pops, man like he's the dude he's the one that understands what it's like to be a guy there are some calls he will make and some questions you just ask me randomly and i'm like damn like ain't nobody care about those parts of me my sisters and my mom care if i'm okay but there are some parts of me that i'm like ah you know so but all in all i don't know i think i think i'm still waiting for the day when i can genuinely connect to those feelings um and maybe actually be able to face them whether it is through tears or through whatever it takes but like right now i still feel like i'm still not i've not processed it totally just because naturally i would i would say maybe i'm not my emotional coefficient is not that amazing i'm not an emotionally clued guy yeah that's like my weak points so for me, I'm just praying and hoping that I come into situations that allows me to experience the true depth of my loss. And if I have, I'm, it's all good. It, do you think if you do, it will distract you? Nah, I think it's always empowering. I think um, being able to be vulnerable, to, to face your true emotions makes you powerful. It reveals more of who you are and it it's positions you for for even more of yourself 
so i actually look forward to it i don't i do not sh- as much as i'm a i'm a I'm a, i like to think i'm a gangster like i tell people i'm not like a bad guy or anything i just live by gangster codes Same. yeah but doesn't mean like i'm a dog or i'm a, people, yeah, no people yeah. don't get that yeah i'm no i'm real, not real, claiming you know the thing about gangster codes man? yeah they're actually demanding. yeah life lessons bro yeah life lessons to help you to guide you to keep you away from a lot of bullshit it help you save a lot of money it's, it comes with so much blessings you know how to navigate how to relate how to be how to deal with some situations how to avoid some situations you know um so yeah man i i i, I live with those those gangster cultures for sure but i'm i ain't no gangster i want to be vulnerable uh, I've, i have lived the total life where i live by the code and i actually live the life and I've seen what that can come back with. And it's just too much mistrust, wow. backstabbing. There's no bond in that. So like, I'm like, no, I actually like when my niggas actually, when I tell my niggas some shit, they're not like, eh, but is this not this same guy that is always doing all this savage shit? Are you sure we can, you know? So like, we live by the code just because, you know, like in this, in this world out here, if you ain't living by those codes, you stand the chances of like falling off losing your grip or not just being able to stand on your two feet and like demand for what's yours and and knowing the boundaries between greed and pride and you know just navigating and being a g that third point you said to me how the them is the most important mm. standing on your two feet and being able to navigate and understand yeah. what this thing is you know especially if like you know like uh my own dad is a g but he's only a g because I'm a G, mm. not because he made me one. Mm, same. So, uh, but he also is a part of it because I came from him. So, all I you think know, to, to, to push your point is, I agree that my dad didn't. Make me he didn't instill nothing in me. I think hip hop raised me or whatever, and I picked up what I did I gravitate to from the game. Follow from that, and my favorite movies were the mafia, the gangster movies, because they teach you about business. And how to even team up with your with your quote unquote um, competitors and how we can put structure and all of these allies bread. yes you understand but when i got older when i spoke to my dad more like i was saying that age 17 18, 18 yeah. i realized this is a man of integrity oh shit. he's a g he's a g but, but he ain't just make me a g, a g. I'm with you on that. i went out and found that genius on my J. And then we could now relate. we're now talking yep. as G's, as but that's G's, not yeah. on you. Facts, facts, I went out facts. and did that shit for me. Facts. I, I completely. You feel me? That because I could have come back and been some next guy. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? Exactly. Because <laughs> I could have gone there and picked whatever I wanted to pick, <laughs> and be that nigga. But yeah. I, I just felt like ah, I'm, I'm cut from a certain cloth. Mm. Even though like, so it's like when I said, maybe this is the type of shit my pops be on. Mm. Oh, I get it now. Oh, that's why this shit resonates so hard. Yep. I'm cut from that cloth. Yep. So I'm able to like relate. So yeah, yeah. So I think, I think overall, man, I, at this point in my life, I'm more like, um, like I know what I want. Um, and that's what's important to me. Yeah. And, and what I want is to fulfill my obligation to to humanity but most importantly to my creator mm. because there's a reason why he has blessed me with all these gifts and i'll be a dickhead if i spend all my time doing what men want me to do and not what god wants me to do mm. so and i feel like as long as i do what god wants me to do no matter how much of a fuck up i am i'm still perfect in his eyes mm. so mm. Bro, man. <laughs> Well said. Well said. Man. So that idea man, is good. You're one of those people that are one of one, man. Very mm. rare. You meet them, you take them as they are. So now, nah, really, like, no, nah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm soaking in a lot, man. I know <laughs> when I'm saying back like, editing, I'm gonna be, I'm soaking in a lot, man. Um, let's talk about some of the videos you like. You said in the beginning you work with. So when you're editing these videos for Joe Boys, the DRBs, mm. I think you did the UBA. Uh, yes, the, UBA, yeah. Uh, Thames, uh, DRB and Thames. Yeah, yeah, they have um, trouble. Yeah, yeah. I need to pick an. I, okay, well, you edited it, didn't yeah, edit it. Trouble. I didn't like that video. <laughs> okay. I felt so disconnected from it. I okay, like we, we can talk about that yeah. for sure. Okay. So, 
Uh, you're not there on set with them. Um, all not time. for all of them. All Some. Of them. Which ones were you on set with? Laddie Crayon. Um, what other videos were there? I was. On Copy. I Copy. was on set for. Uh, I'm hardly on set. I'm hardly on set. Um, I mean, I'd rather be paid to be on set. Yeah. Um. So w- when when projects allow me to get paid to be on set, then projects like like the commercials, like Piggy Vests, yeah. I beg, I'm on those sets. Um. Okay, I think the one, the last one I done with Prodigy, which was for OLA. Oh, Oi, Oi, Bobo. Oh, the Yeah. I did this person in the video. Oh, wow. <laughs> so funny. Small world. Yeah, yeah. So I was on set for that. Um, so I go on set sometimes, but I think the way my schedule is, I, I rarely have long stretches of free time. Yeah. Yeah. So I must always be juggling time. And so yeah. when you're on set, what do they expect of you? Um, so like it depends on the complexity a lot of times I'm just there vibing if I want to lie it's the truth yeah. just talking to models you know <laughs> I like that honestly so it's not as if you're there looking at it I'm going to edit it this way <laughs> yeah I mean because of my nature the way I am um, I have a scatter brain yeah. so like you can I like to do multiple things at the same time so yeah yeah interesting so like i'm that guy like i think with the people who i work with now they understand how i am Mm. that i rise to the occasion yeah so you can see me talking to a a girl there or i'm jonesing with one man them like you poop man it will kind of find you (laughs) i say this I'm gone again. Yeah. You know. But then I think most of the time it's just they just do their thing and then they send me and then also there's also the part where they just trust that anything where we no do right, no worry, be the me go figure them out. Yeah. There's still that part as well. Like just send him the drive, bro. And be the me go 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 work magic. You know, like, y'all niggas calm down. <laughs> what, what's it like working with the ladder legs? That's L and B. L and so, B. Um, uh, Abuka Family Inc. Family and um, Palomar. And yeah, yeah. I mean, I would say like. So are you your your family Inc? I'm. So I'm every. I'm like. You're part of because I know. I'm, yeah, I'm like. The whole family tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, family, yeah I'm. I'm. Boys. Yeah, I'm. I'm rooted okay. yeah yeah what's it like working like i said like all i know is gang shit yeah fuck <laughs> it you get to like i'm it's oh like, yeah i'm always in gangs yeah 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 like if yeah. you check it out like two things you always see me around is a bunch of niggas and yeah. women yeah. Yeah. it's the truth women, i can't women is that your vice oh yes i like women too much yeah. like i like women so much that it affects my money and once anything affects my money it has to go so it was a blessing because if not for that i don't know how i'll have come out of it but when i noticed that one ah don't worry <laughs> nothing will affect my money don't worry like no that. matter how much is tempting Focus. Okay, but go. ll and b family i think you know working with those guys you know i think is 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 a blessing mm. and i think it's it's spiritual it's orchestrated in heaven it's it's i think it's a it's was written in in this in the books of time or in the sounds of time however they say that and because is this the is it's just mad it's it's mad just to even think about sitting down here and where we came from mm. it's just mad it, it's ridiculous mm. to say the least um i think working with those guys is is I don't know right now i think now we're just having a good time you know um we spend most of the time just talking about what's coming next and and how we can use whatever like opportunity influence whatever we want to call it that god has given us to do more to push the envelope and to also contribute our part I think ultimately I would say that 
those are a bunch of great guys with like great intention and i feel like th- those are some of the people in, in i believe in like uh collaborative change or like collective change and i don't believe in one player i believe in key players and i feel like those guys are also like um the industry should be happy that people like that are willing to commit their time to choose this as their means of of change as opposed to being a doctor because like guys like that the the credibility and the the way in which you know we choose to do business it's amazing and seeing it being a part of it you know everything is just it's just i just think it's it's just mad man yeah it's mad um to think about what has happened you know i mean ibuka was the one that paid me my highest paying job then you know when i was struggling to make like 10k mm. you know ibuka was the first nigga that gave me 20k mm. and i was like hurrah 20,000 naira was big uh demola was the first guy um that even like tried to put me in a team and said all right cool i'm doing this um art xp can you come and do this for me can you come and do that you know um my first music video was with demola follow more which is a pull up you know which invented Kote. <laughs> yeah so um i think those guys have been instrumental in my life and i feel like i've been instrumental in their lives as well and um there's nothing better than when you find people who you can exchange value so like for me it's like a blessing and i'm just excited to see like what we do next with yeah. that brotherhood yeah i'll always love you Thames. yeah yeah, trouble. yeah. trouble yeah tell me first of all demola is the director i know i want to have demola on this yeah i think i just said another thing about uh we spoke to him but i need to follow up mm-hmm. now Because these are my boys and <sighs> attachment to the song. Mm. The song is. Just little scenes here and there. Did you think the third version was the best? I don't even. I, don't, I think from the, the concept itself. Oh, okay. So the connect. You know, like for example, damages. Like. I would, at that time, I'd have guessed that Tendi's budget, you know, being on a very few hands. Oh, okay. Keep a clean video. But still, well, like, execute. Still execute. Yeah. So when I just see damages from the opening shot, the wide shot, and you see everyone outside, and you go in, and I love that opening shot, by the way. And yeah, lit. Colors, and then the pool table, and it's like, yeah, finally, someone's doing some thinking. Everything has to be, like, trying to be sexy and dancing or whatever. So, personally, because of the video and the song um, and obviously the fonts the arrangement all the time. yeah yeah the fonts was lit yeah uh, but like the trouble on this all the exception of the idea just that whole I don't want boys man when it comes to acting on screen they will just they just will not sell it you know like fresh mm, okay there, okay there it's, it's Thames' fresh babe but he's not on the song but he has the thing on his head is that a board? Ah, it's Alani. The board should have been the professor. Al- Alani was there because of Jameson. Okay, no, no. in video. Yes, no, he's yeah. in the video. Okay, Jameson, fine. I guess so. I don't yeah. know. I'm just, I was just saying. What should have been the professor? Because I think Alani is a Jameson uh, ambassador. Hmm. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, he is. What should have been like a professor? Okay, yeah. but what, did you buy the whole idea of like going into another world? You, but you know, you know why? I'm just saying for what their brand is. Okay, okay, okay. And Alania at the bar in the place. No, you get now. The idea, the idea is that the idea is that there is a pandemic. So. <laughs> God. So these all tech kids. Don't try and charge it to me to make it make sense. I but that is that is actually that is from what I heard okay. or from. <laughs> what do you know? What you heard? You yes, me. now. So for reading the treatment, the idea was that this like the all tech kids need a another means of escape. Yeah. So now there is a COVID. There is a lockdown. Yeah. Man, them cannot go and turn up the way they want to turn up. Yeah. So they t- they took it to the metaverse. 
<laughs> Again. So that room, that room was like a holding room. So the room that Budge was like the Professor X because he was the one that pressed enter. Yeah, Professor X, why was he wearing those colorful colors? I think Tizzy was wearing like black and white or something. I can't yeah. remember. Yes, no. No, Tizzy was wearing some fly pee because I know. Wow, was Tizzy not in UK? What was in no, okay. I'm yeah, mixing up. I'm mixing up. Trouble and abracadabra. Uh, because you know that uh, they uh, they uh, have uh, that similar uh, vibe. I get it. They are the that similar uh, different world vibe. Trouble, blood, world Come world on, this world. is don't it don't mix for my head. Trouble is the one with the with the warehouse. Mm, the warehouse is the secret location where they tap in. Secret location to tap in where? To the metaverse. <laughs> because there's lockdown. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, then you guys have put text in the beginning. They, you know, they, okay, like 3000. But didn't they do that? Okay, they didn't do that. Do you know it was, was only in the treatment. The maddest clip, yeah, was Thames on fire. On fire. <laughs> you might as well have kept the whole thing like that. Let's know that it's real trouble. But the whole Bro, video, see, them no lie to you, yeah. That video was stressful. Also, stressful. Ah, like, the, and then I think something happened where, like, some clips were damaged. So we have to ah, bro. Now why now? Be the me. <laughs> Give us some magic. I'm like hi hi captain. To work. But I mean, I, I feel like I feel like this my sound because I'm saying this, but maybe it's the gene. But blame whoever. But I'm saying this in my chest. Like I feel like me and me and Thames. It's it's a great. I f- I feel proud because like um. I worked on a whole lot of our, up, our, our initial projects, like our first two videos, um, our, our third video, which was now with DRB. So I just feel, I feel very like connected to her brand. Yeah. It might be a sentimental value. No, of course that's only that you should get. But yeah, I course. feel like wow, like because when the first video try me, boom, amazing. Video. Yeah, amazing. yeah, amazing. probably one of my best videos, like. I'm, I'm that I've done, big. yes. The only thing I don't like about that video is mm. the chains on the hand. Mm. They don't put padlock. Yeah, they should have made their boots and make that's the only thing. Yeah. I was like, oh, these chains are clearly so light. Mm-hmm. I know you guys use the same chains for another video. I said it's another video, guys. I knew it. No, it's the same. It's not the same video. No, another video. I saw the same chain. I said, I don't know. That's not that chain, but that. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, mean, this life thing, but, but yeah, try me was try video. try me. Then after try me was damages. No, no, no trouble. Try me trouble. Damage. Then damages. Yeah, Th- those those were. Oh, damages. I feel like I feel like I enjoyed. I enjoyed a little. To me, damages is like. Okay, obviously, essence is our biggest record, but damages was to, to me. Whiskey's biggest record. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I, so I'm still saying I think her biggest record is <laughs> damages. damages yeah, because yeah. I feel like she went. I would just say Rihanna because that might sound like I'm taking the piss, but like she she really like delivered like a global. She hit. Yeah, she delivered yeah, a record. global sound like. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, video. damages is too yeah. crazy. Like I know people say free mind and all these other. Well, I didn't even. I need I'm to free. Like I love damages video so much. Like I go back. Yeah, damages. Me, me and Nick, we go back. We play the song. Or just, 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 just let me watch the video. video. In the background with the colors. I love it. I really, really love me you, is my. Only. <laughs> <laughs> and my favorite line on that record is. Don't call my phone, you know. Not a bad man. You so missed mad. your way, you're not the one chance. I can say so I was like, let's hear cut my bad man. I enjoyed I enjoyed making damages, try me. Do maybe Echo. Echo was lit. Even Alte. Alte? Alte. Okay. Also Alte, uh, I don't like Oh yeah, oh yeah. I don't think you guys work out with your This guy might be an off. <laughs> Bro, I can't lie to you. I told friends. I nah, that video was lit. No, do you know why? Why? I don't. So now you can let me know. Maybe it's mm-hmm. a budget thing. You know me. I'm like the when it's all said and done guy. Of course. So yeah, they just give me the P. I need to have it. Yeah, yeah. But no, I mean I can still Please drop my two cents. So for me, it's like. 
because I don't know what the budget, but as a video director, I know when we have limited budget. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have, yeah. To, make it, make you have to make it pop. So it's like, okay, let's just do it in one location. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's also down to them, not also. I want to say that I mean before, it's also more trying to be actively creative, mm. it creatively involved. Because mm. I felt like, for example, you know, there's a skateboard community in Nigeria. We're very, you know, we have relationships. It's large, yeah. Supreme. There's no reason why you shouldn't, in that area, you shouldn't be sat down doing the worst with the Niger jersey. I think both went to number four. Okay, I understand. I understand where you're coming from. It was an opportunity to, to show highlight culture. And highlight oh, culture okay, so yeah, 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 I feel okay, you. I get we want to use one location. I feel you, I feel you. Fair, let's use one location. But in this one location, what can we do? But what about that? In that video, there were a lot of like alter yeah, but, faces. No, but check this out. To the That's alright. No, to the this is what happens. Big fish, small pond. Mm, to the mm, masses. Mm. When you're watching that video in London, if you're one of my guys who's a lawyer, or mm, 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 mm. Yeah, not yeah, tapped in necessarily. Not yeah, they look at the three people they want to see. They, they might not even know who these faces are because they are not tapped in. That's what I tell people when people are like, oh, the, the bad energy video, they're all like, yeah, it had the whole altar scene in it. I'm like, bro, in London. Oh, so you don't like that video no, too? No, bad energy is good. Okay. I said, in London. What's your criticism? I'm, like, no, 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 I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just explaining to them about <laughs> having altar. I'm like, in London, the London scene are not watching that video going, oh, oh I knew that. Yeah, that's that, that man. That's no, my man. watching the video looking at Skepta and, and Whiskey. Whiskey. Facts. End of. Yeah, it's yeah. Us, even Nigerian mainstream, I know they're going, Oh, now we where we know now. Yeah, they're not there going. That's my man. He's uh, he, he, he's my man. Hey, I think now. that video was more about putting the auto culture on the map. For him. For who? For Skepri Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he connected he to connect, it, so he thing. wanted to do that. Yeah, he was more yeah. Things. We know Nigerian mainstream yeah. don't give two monkeys. Yeah, those guys are. Um, the rest of the world are not there going. Who's that girl on that video? She looks pain, man. Let me see that. Yeah. They're not mm. doing that. I mean, they might, but like, they're not. They're not doing it from a place of like a conscious point. Like, yeah, yeah. Like she's like an influencer, nah, nah. Just gonna look at her like some like a model, like a random chick yeah, that, looks, that, that is in the video. Yeah, it's not from uh -huh. Yo, let me see what she's on. She made. Me yeah, I feel you. So when we talk about the alter faces and alter video, on the grand scheme of things, that don't. But if you're seeing someone skateboard and you're seeing like, um. I'm not sure if Stone was in the country at the time, but someone like there's a guy called yeah Henry. Henry's one of the one for the Henry. Uh, what about uh for for was for yeah. for what yeah for you what the, yeah, yeah. For, you have those kind of, kind of guys you have the rollerbladers as maybe the rollerbladers are going around around the circles they're holding graffiti paint and as they're going around around the circles they just spray the paint around around you're catching the rollerblading national oh, yeah no. If you guys see, watch our new videos coming soon. <laughs> well, do you understand what I'm coming Yeah, yeah, so yeah 100%. That, like so, yeah, look, you're talking about uh, like deeper symbolisms. So, you might not be able to tell the story in terms of like say it, but like the symbolisms. Like, for example, um, I was watching the Yoruba documentary. Yeah. There's a Yoruba documentary on Netflix. Okay. And they were talking about Orumila oh, right. or Eli Dumari. One of them, I can't remember who it is. And. They not put this logo up, and then I clocked. All I wanna say is that they don't really care about us. That nigga was representing Yoruba culture. Huh. He didn't say it, but watching that documentary, I was like, "Fuck, Michael Jackson is tapped in." Mm. Yeah, but like when I've watched that video a lot of times, I didn't know no. the symbolism he was showing me. If he had maybe shown me the Ifa priest picture, and he gave the Ifa priest a bureau. That doesn't do anything for me because mm. that's just a face, like you're saying. Yeah. But the fact that he wore the clothes, he wore the symbolism of it. There was a fashion aesthetic. The people that were drumming, all that, when they were drumming, shoot yeah. me, yeah. all those guys yeah. are actually like Yoruba drummers. They're a Yoruba band that were yeah. famous in, I think, Cuba, where he went yeah. to film it. So that now made me go, oh shit, this guy is tapped in. He left us clues. Mm. So these niggas, so all these things that we're thinking Beyonce be be tapped in and she's doing this lemonade pee. Nah, bro. MJ been on that. MJ been the OG of like foreign export. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, so I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Based on that, yes. Because if now that video was just showing one old man that was sitting in a chair and they just showed us his face. Even the person doing the documentary will need to do more work. Yeah. to reach that story yeah. but just the shirt the drummers the colors 
like if you go to Cuba, they are still wearing those colors. Yep. They still carry those emblems. Yep. So it's easier for you to connect yeah. to what Michael was trying to tell you in that video, even though it was a clue. Yeah. It's a better clue. Yeah. Which is why I asked, maybe um, boys are not as creatively invested in your Yeah, no, no, no. But I mean, they, I'm but actually, they are the community, though. No, no, when I, no, when I say community, I'm talking about not the community. The, the creativity, yeah, the creativity yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When you guys Matching it and, I'm yeah. Like, I'm a fan of what you guys do. So for me, even like being in the present by you know, um, I've met you. I remember I saw a Jamala and I went to introduce myself as well. I saw him at 10, 10 years of age and he stuff and he knew who I was. So I'm like, okay, oh, that's dope, man. I felt like mm-hmm. mutual respect and Abel Khan and I must have met maybe at the beach or wherever or somewhere. Why are you missing these guys at the beach? <laughs> Or somewhere. Turn up culture. Let's go. I met you at the beach too. Uh uh-uh. uh what's going yes, on? We met a I landmark. Mean, wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Says a lot about us. <laughs> <laughs> I said. Well oh, you feel me? So it's like, you know, I'm a fan of you guys so prior to meeting you guys, watching it from there, following all the pages like that. Like you said these guys are on some gang stuff and what's coming out is dope so when my boys are gonna collaborate with you guys i'm like why do you guys get the worst videos like and i can see you guys are still doing what you do like your color grading is still the same yeah, your, yeah. Camera angles, your, your style is still there but i'm like something is missing hmm. and i say that just maybe a heads up so that if you guys ever work together again hmm. you know that okay yeah this conversation make sure that no i mean you should you should definitely chat with like it, like Demola, we told for the first. What the first say? When Demola and I said that, I want to know from Demola's perspective. Yeah, because Demola is the leader. Yeah. Of, of this particular yeah. topic, Demola is our the boss. The UBA advert was good. The UBA advert was. Okay, if I'm correct, that was TSC. Directed by TSC. Okay. Oh, yeah, you are right. You're if right. I'm correct. Did you edit that? Yes, yeah, and I know it was. I know it was a TSC. I don't know if TSC was the director, but I know TSC was when I when it came to my table. Yeah. Uh, I know I remember hearing TSC's name yeah, for yeah, sure. You're right, you're right, you're right. Big up the man TSC you're number right. one. Demola, you know. we will have this conversation. God willing. Demola, call him out. Too. That's on you, bro. Yeah. I'm gonna leave it to you, my bro. I, I did what I could, bro. <laughs> So um, before we wrap up, I just want to touch on one or two key points. Yeah. What's, what's your biggest milestone so far? Whew. My biggest milestone so far is remaining a non-conformist. Um, I'll say that because a lot of people wanted to crown me as um, head editor in charge, you know, but. I felt like I, like I said, I didn't edit to become an editor. I was editing to solve my problem, which is I want to make films. But if I can edit, at least I'm on my way. If I can buy a red camera, at least I can use this phone to shoot something and edit it. Because good edit is a part of the ecosystem of what I want to do in the long term. But editing was my starting point. After doing the Nighties Baby video, I was getting mad, like, recognition. And, you know, if you're doing something that you love, people saying you're good at it is a drug. So I was overdosing on that drug. Um, And I guess people out of care, interest, wanting the best for me, they were trying to tell me what my next level was. Mm So a lot of people were saying I should be, do VFX. Uh, a lot of people were saying I should start off a post-production media house where I have like junior editors and I can take on more jobs. Um, but for me, I felt that's not who I was, you know. Um, so I had to break out of that. And my biggest milestone in life in general would just be that I love to show people that, you know, there's more. And yeah and and i yeah so that's like my my biggest thing is not allowing success determine my success yeah yeah who and what are your biggest or who are your biggest inspiration um 
my biggest inspiration would be God. Um, just because of how much stuff he has shown me and how much stuff he has like deposited in me. So that's the OG. Then I'll say Diddy. Yeah, because like he's a savage and you can't stand in his way. He will knock you out eventually. So I relate to that tenacity. Um, 50 Cent. Because that's the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you yeah. sure you didn't read my master's bro, essay? Bro, bro, bro. I might be your master's essay. <laughs> you get it? I might be a reflection of your master's essay because I am a student of this game, like full fledged. Like, um, 50. Um, yeah, man, just like um, Rose, Nipsey Hustle. I mean, Nipsey's a different level because, like, 50 Cent made me a gangster. Um, 50, yeah, but 50. Obi Trice, D12, G Unit, you know, that era. But majorly, 50 made me, like, a gangster. Nipsey is making me a man. So, like, um, the game is different. Back then, they teach you game on how to be a thug now they teach you game on how to be a mogul mm. so like for that reason yeah 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 Nip- nipsey is one of the most impactful people in my life right now um and i actually have a playlist called game on game um like i said like gangs gang shit not gang shit but like mobbing and like women that's my forte so like i have my sexy playlist and i got my game on game playlist which are my two favorite playlists so if if 99 percent of the time you catch me listening to my game on game just because in every day there are distractions that tries to knock a player off his hustle and you know you might just hear one song that will just remind you of that line and you just confirm and you know when i'm with the shorties I don't want to be too like toxic. I want to connect to my soft side. So I got to play some calm music, put on some like moody lights yeah, and get into my day. playboy shit. Yeah, you feel me? Light. light, you know what I'm saying? Change my tone of voice, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> How you doing, baby? What's popping? <laughs> I shouldn't be drinking. I love these interviews. I'm catching too much cruise. Okay. But I like it. But yeah, so like for me, yeah, man. Those, those are like my my biggest influences would be like niggas that drop game yeah. even till tomorrow i still fuck with this guy what's this guy's name uh blue blue face ray baby face ray baby face ray fucking hell you know i ain't slipping on the mission just perfecting the craft i like them with tunnel vision they inspect me the last i put 40 in my pocket and the rest in the bag to alert is how i get them leave them left in the grass you know just like you know like you know i put 40 in my pocket and the rest in the bag you know that tells you to save Thanks. you feel me Thanks. Mm-hmm. Thanks. so just yarns like that like when i hear it every it day remind you of what the gospel is yeah like hey, don't, don't don't get caught up don't get here. don't get lost in this yeah, shit yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> for me like nip, like mick mill would say like um when it's all uh, save you some of that money, you better stop splurging. Cause when it's all said and done, yeah. and you back at the bottom, they gonna treat you like you're worthless. Respect the game. Fuck the Get me. Yeah. Fuck the fame. We millionaires. Fuck your watch. A little chain. Ooh. Nigga, feeling yourself. I know you got a little lane. Just hold your composure. I seen the shit happen over and over. That little hundred thousand holding you over. That ain't real money. That's bill money. Buy a rollie. Yeah, you feel that's me? That's Catch the case. Call, little call little a lawyer. Pay money. bill money. Now you fucked up. Like you ain't got no money. Call it home because niggas did you wrong. But when you had money, you should have put niggas on. Woo. The moment that they put cuffs on you, you're gone. Woo. So you get me? When when you share it, you're like, oh, okay. Ah, surely gonna leave me if I slip up. Yep. It's, it's what it is. Uh, plenty of them don't come. Yeah. yeah. So why are you why yeah. are you out here dulling yourself? Just pick the game. Mm. Pick the game and be a G. I like that. We'll make a place called Game on Game. Like you feel that. me? Game on like whenever I just feel like 
it's not like i'm being too soft it's not that it's just like when i know like nah like your train of thoughts like maybe i'm tired i'm editing i wake up you know do, doing this cracks thing doing creative direction i'm editing like five commercials niggas are calling my ass my mom is telling me i'm not calling now my girlfriend trying to break up with me you know that shit i'm yeah. f- stressed out i'm still trying to find money i want to move to another house i want to buy this i want to do that you feel me i'm just there i'm just like yo what the fuck is going on i just play ocean view mm. ocean view mm. small circle it's a chosen few mm. i wrote it down then i followed through I bought a pound and we wrote a few. Mm. I talk shit, but she know it's true. Mm. Blessings. She's in my section. Done with all this bullshit, I'm obsessive. Yeah. You get me? Yeah. Weapon. I'm fucking up, turning up this bullshit direction. Waking up to more grind, waking up to more pressure. Boy, it's all in my mind, so I never feel pressure. Mm. You know, double back and get extras. You know, I don't know about hell. I don't know about heaven. Ooh. All I know about right now in this lifestyle is interesting. So I'm just there. I'm just like, you know, you know niggas got niggas got life around me. They died around me, I guess, and I'm a, I'm the exception. All I see is ocean views. Small circle is a chosen few. Mm. You remember? But like I, it's an attitude yeah, I, 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 I know you stressed out. You, I know this shit is, but like you know, the pressure's on. But guess who ain't gonna crack? Pardon me, I had to laugh at that, <laughs> Jay Z. So like those those. When I'm down, that's a, that's, that was a good, that whole verse. Was you just that those D- difficult takes a day, impossible takes a week. You feel you difficult takes a day, impossible takes a week. You feel me? So like, you you, you then become a hustler. You you become a man by by listening to those energies, yeah. and you know these guys are successful. It's not for gays. It's zero for guys. It's, it's obviously like. Eminem did say that as as storytellers we exaggerate. So there's the form of cinematic yeah yeah that is attached to it. But like take what you want. Don't take it literally. Understand the message. Yep. That's it man. You know, my game on game playlist. Maybe someday I might put it out to the public. Cause now that shit is like seven hours deep. Don't worry. I, I need to and if if bro like there's no how bro I promise you there's no how no matter what's going on just play it before like 45 minutes you will hear like one line I'll be like you'll be like ah they fuck up okay I'm sorry I'm sorry my bosses I'm sorry to the OGs that existed before me I need it there's, there's nothing better than hearing games and bro if yeah. if you got sh- bro send it over bro, like I will, man this this doesn't end there we yeah bro this and I, bro, I must say like the energy is is awesome yes, I, I mean i've always felt like um i'm meeting you yeah. but like i've always looked at fresh from afar and i mean i've known budge a little bit yeah. from london a little, uh, you guys are super cool there's no how you'll be that cool and not share like some my cousin. i'm not sure is it cousin in real life yeah. oh shay see I not share values, principles, stuff like that. So like I've always felt like for me, like I said, I don't I don't really rush things. I'm just like fresh. We go still make money together mm. for this life. So like meeting you and just the way everything has been going, I'm just like, oh okay, proof in the pudding. It makes yeah. a lot of sense. Yeah. So like Dope. man, like really do like cause since we are on altered daily, um, it's only right that I like you know say some of these words um shout out 90s baby yes sir um thank you for everything that you've done um for me especially because Bidemi Popson was born at a 90s baby um I was doing a lot of things I'm not saying that I wouldn't have made it without 90s baby because the only person that I can't make it without is God but God does send people your way to do God's work in your life. And I feel 90s baby has done the Lord's work in a lot of people's lives. Um as a practitioner, as a as a practitioner, as a participant in this culture of ours, I would say that we're just getting started. Um unity is important, collaboration is key, more love, less ego. And uh, the sky is the limit. We need to embrace our identities. We we exist in a country that is f- up. Everything is against us. 
today they still called me a yahoo boy you know because i'm fly because maybe i got some shit that you might not be able to buy and then you think how this young nigga get that money he's doing yahoo but i guess you know i'm doing yahoo because i'm scamming my dreams i'm scamming my 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 imagination i'm finessing my my thoughts and and my dreams are paying me my dream is my maga so maybe <laughs> maybe i am a yahoo boy uh, just let's keep this shit going we need to start making movies we need to take this vision to the cinemas more documentaries um subculture owned establishments that have infrastructure that can contribute to the gdp that can contribute to employment and that can turn us into like moguls in the future because everything that's going on with afrobeat right now they will continue to export it we've seen what they've done with slavery we've seen what they've done with democracy alter culture will not be different afrobeat will not be different the only reason why afrobeat alter africans black people can rise is if we have something that is going on locally because then you can import people but then if we always have to wait to go to their place we are exporting it and that's only good for the people who are being exported and the place that it is being exported to but the minute we can turn it into imports then it will work for the people that are being shone the light on when the importation happens so structure 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 guys yeah man you know we need to build structures um, we need people who can put their money up it doesn't have to be a lot of money because time is money and with time money comes with time so time is money so if you cannot invest your money invest your time if you have some time and some money invest both whatever you have invested because i promise you wherever you are sitting now 10 years from now you are the future you are puff daddy you are jay-z you are birdman you are master p you are top dog dope man thank you so much man hey. listen guys guys this is this is one of the the most special people that one one has met man you know I, I had a great conversation with unlimited last week or the week before i didn't even think we could top that because we had a conversation as human beings he's a great great person and i guess he's much older so we have different experiences mm. but to have a conversation with a with a guy like you and just to watch how your mind works from the little that we've had from the moment we linked outside yeah, today yeah, 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 yeah. to having our conversation to how we go off topic and come back and yeah, make the yeah. points make sense and there's a lot of similarities and mm -hmm. that's the fun part for yeah me, do you know what i mean it's it's you meet someone special you gotta let them know man that you have a special mind and the way the way you think you know it's that situation where they think we're jokers but then they realize how deep you are oh, but yeah, then you just yeah, come back yeah. and be I light like, again yeah, it's yeah. like cool. ooh, this is just a dynamic joke we need to play you know what i mean it's, yeah. it's dynamic because you know some guys you meet them they're just man, so serious man. you meet some guys it's too too you know, funny yeah. yeah but guys man i hope you pay attention and you you go back and literally listen to what this man has been saying because i feel like we could have a, a thousand more conversations Thanks. like it's um this will not be the last time and just to salute you again once again on the great work yeah, that you've done man. you're an inspiration you, to me and i'm sure loads of people thank you brother and uh man you've spoken so well man i can't wait to go back sit down watch the interview re-edit hey. <laughs> so i can't even wait for you to come out and hopefully like it's able to do something for somebody out there yes sir because if not then we just What's wasted our time <laughs> i know right but it will <laughs> it will yes. because when we came when we were growing up we didn't have this yes we didn't so I'm pretty sure it will but guys man make sure you tune in mm. we had pops in our here Alter Daily check get. out the website alterdaily.com you know get. the vibes Alter Daily on all platforms hey. you know the hashtag express yourself it is what it is the it alternative is it network is. come on man, man you already know